What's up guys, so today I'm going to show you how to use EMU deck to put emulators around on your Steam deck. So first you have to go to your desktop. I have EMU deck uninstalled already, so I'm going to go ahead and find it through the browser. And of course I'll have the link in the description if you guys just want to do it that route so you guys can just skip this part if you want. I'm going to press Steam and X to bring up the keyboard. See, I've already been here, so that'll be the first one. You'll get to this screen right here. You'll go straight to download. Okay, and then you're going to get the download installer. And then execute it by double clicking it. So you'll say, okay. It's very, very small. So you'll open it from right here from your downloads. If it doesn't pop up, you'll see the L right here, or just go to your download folder. So we're just gonna do it the manual way. You gotta go down to your Dolphin File Manager right here. And then on the left-hand side, you go to Downloads. You'll see ENU Deck for your desktop. Now, of course, you can either drag it or copy and paste or cut it. So I'll left-hand click it I'm just going to go cut. I want to minimize that because we're still going to be using that. Minimize that. I don't know where that came from. So you can just paste it right here. Just paste one file. It says install EMU deck. So we're going to double click this. This will start the program. If you want to proceed, continue. So we're going to continue. Then we're going to let us do a thing. Then this will pop up. Downloading files. You have two options here. You can either do easy mode or custom mode. Now me personally, I just straight do easy mode because everything works like perfect for me. I don't really change much on here. So it says your ROM directory will be squared away with emu with an emulation folder in your selected directory. So I'm going to put everything on my SD card, which I definitely recommend. Click on SD card. And then go to continue. Uh, do you want to install our selection of homebrew games? They are free, non commercial games. I go to no. I usually just find my own games and we're just going to keep this easy. We are completing your installation now. Of course, I think if you went to custom, you can pick which emulators you want. I saw that you can change like ratios and stuff like that as far as the screen. Me personally, a lot of that stuff you can change within each system. So installation is complete. So they want you to launch Steam ROM Manager. We don't have to do that right now. Let's exit. Cause I'm gonna show you how you get to that after you put uh, ROMs on your SD cards. I suppose if you're watching this, you probably don't, you might not have ROMs on there yet. So the only disclaimer I have is that you, I can't actually show you how or where to download uh, actual ROMs because it's quote unquote illegal. But when I tell you that it is so freaking easy, I, I usually do it straight from my Steam Deck or I just, honestly, I do it from my phone or I do it from my laptop. It depends on what I'm looking for, the size of it and the time I have. So if you're from your, let's say if you go to your uh, Firefox or if you're at Google, you basically just type in, uh, let's say if it's a certain ROM or I just put in the system I'm looking for and I'll find a good website. So I'll put in like uh, PS2 ROMs or ROMs for PS2. If you guys need help with that, um, you can always let me know in the comments and uh, I'll, I'll find some type type of way to message you. Let's say you downloaded your ROM. If it's if it's in your download folder, you'll you'll go down to your uh, your Dolphin down down here at the bottom. You go to your downloads. It'll be in here. Let's say this is it. This isn't it, but you know, I usually cut because I don't like to keep uh, extra files around because I'm gonna delete it anyway. So let's say if you cut it. You go all the way down. Now, if you save it to your SD card, you go all the way down and you'll see primary. Now, this, this should be under your, where it says, removable devices. So you go there. Now, EMU Deck has already made 
your emulation folder. So this that should be here. So you click on emulation. Now here you have your BIOS files, uh, HD packs, ROM, save, storage, and tools. Now the only thing you'll probably be messing with the most, of course, is the ROMs. So you got your ROM, you go in your ROMs. Now these are all, these are emulator folders. And they're all in alphabetical order. You'll, run, you'll go inside of here, and you remember when I told you to cut it, you'll just paste it, right click, paste one file, bam. PS2, let's see. So these are all the games that I have, see? So when you get your game, they will be compressed because these ISO files are very big, especially for certain games. Like you'll paste your compressed file here. And then when you have your compressed file, what you'll do is you'll right click on it. And you'll see something that says uh, extract. You'll press extract and then you'll see something over here in the middle. It'll show uh, like the time you have left for it to extract. And depending on how big the file is, is basically how long it's going to extract. You let that extract, then you'll have your ISO file. That's, that's the actual ROM. Now some systems, they will let you play with just the compressed files, but not all of them. Like PS2 doesn't let you, but Dreamcast, that emulator you can play actually with the the actual compressed files but the problem with that is that i made the mistake of extracting them and leaving the compressed file and the iso file and then on dreamcast it'll be like it'll it'll read it as two games so that's why you'll say space as well when you do extract it erase that compressed file every time you download um a game it's gonna come compressed because it's easier to download. So you got your games here. We can just minimize that. We're gonna go back into in your deck, checking for updates. When you have your ROMs, this is how you put the art on there. So you'll go down to tools and stuff right here. Steam ROM manager right here, okay? This is basically telling you that the controls on your Steam Deck are about to change while this is open. Why this does this, I still don't understand. We, since we were using the trackpads for the right uh, mouse and the left mouse, we're going to be using the back triggers uh, after you press yes. That's just a disclaimer telling you that that's going to happen. So we're just going to press yes. We're going to go to preview, which is and then press R2. Now, you wanna make this big so you can see everything. Then you're gonna to go to Generate App List. This right here, are the, this is the channel, I mean, this is the art for the emulators. You can see which one. And you can actually change these, change these too. Or you press the arrow, it'll give you different options. And actually, uh, you can save the image file here and if you actually go on your own you can download an image that you want on here and just go add the local image uh, i actually had to do that for a few games that didn't have the ch the art or didn't have an art that i wanted so these are all the rounds that i've already downloaded now they are what happens is it already picks it for you but if you want to change it just press the arrow find one you might like and then you, you want to make sure that the rounds that you picked are on here. If they're not on here, they're either in the wrong spot or there is something wrong with that download, which I've I've done that before. And most of the time when people have uh, issues with their rounds it's because they didn't let it download all the way or they didn't let it extract all the way, which becomes very tedious because you don't know which one it might be. So sometimes I just do the whole download over, sad to say. But most of the time the games aren't really that big to do that so after you generate your list and you go through your channel art and you make sure everything is here you go to save app list okay save and that's that's pretty much it for that um remember you're using your r2 for your right uh mouse click so you're gonna click that off 
you're pretty much done here. I'm just gonna exit. So everything should be pretty much set up. So we're gonna go back to gaming mode. Okay, so we're back in gaming mode. We're gonna go to our library. Um, when you look in here, you can see which games that you have on here. So, so here's my Dreamcast games. Uh, yeah, because all those pictures are there for, for the actual emulator. So like I said, I usually use PlayStation 2. So here's all the PlayStation 2 games and they all work pretty, pretty good. You just want to look at everything you can go to your non-Steam and everything has you know the picture and so forth so i'm gonna tell you like it's 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 really easy i think the only thing about it is just finding roms i would say just waiting for them to download and doing the whole extracting thing this is what i use to put roms into my steam deck if i downloaded them from the laptop so i download them from the laptop i put them right on here which is a uh this is a external hard drive it's a couple terabytes so it has a lot of stuff on here so i'll put them on here i'll make a folder for it uh and this is my uh steam deck dock and i'll just pretty much drag and drop into the correlating folders if you don't have one of these like the the dock or if you don't have an external hard drive you can always download them straight to your steam deck from the web browser or you can actually use your phone now for my phone what I do is I'll find a ROM that I'm looking for. So it's basically just saving ROMs from your phone, uploading them to Google Drive, and then downloading them from Google Drive on your Steam Deck, which actually makes it a lot easier because the phones are pretty are pretty good with downloading. And then another tip I want to give you, I forgot to mention, if you guys want to like change certain things about let's say your emulator, let's say, oh, this button isn't working or that button isn't working or you can always do this through Steam OS, but it's easier to do it through here. Uh, so you'll look for, let's say if it's the, well, yeah, let's just say Citra. So we'll open up Citra, show you which games that you have, which I have Pokemon X right here. Let's say if I don't like the way that, you know, um, the buttons is laid out. No, you go to emulation, up to the top, you go to configure. Uh, but we're gonna go to controls. So these are actually really easy. So don't let this, um, don't let this confuse you. It's really nice to play around with stuff like this. So if you wanna change your A button to your A button, you'll click it, it'll say press the key, A, switches to A. Um, wanna change your B to B, We're gonna click it, click it, press B. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, this is so easy to to change these. It'll, you just click it, it'll say press the key that you wanna put it to, bam. Uh, I'll leave the circle pad alone. You can even set the, the analog stick. Um, you can change your C stick to whichever buttons. You know, don't forget you have buttons on the back as you can uh, use and set up to. Um, I'm actually gonna leave that, I'm gonna leave that alone. Uh, but I do wanna keep it like that. Um, I hope this video helps a lot. If you guys have any questions, you can always leave a comment and um, I'll try to steer you guys in the right direction. Um, but I guess with that being said, happy steam decking and adios, peace.